What is up guys? This is going to be the fourth video in the Java programming series. In this video we're going to cover more on this print lin statement so you can understand this a little bit better. So you see that when we printed this out to the console we had um, this hello world right here it was a single line and awesome, had hello world. So let's say we make another system.out.println statement and we're like, hey, and um, put the semicolon. Also didn't explain this, um, but pretty much every single a line of code has to have a semicolon at the end of it. That's a way of um, letting the computer know that you're moving on to the next instruction within the set. So now if we run this, um, a shortcut for running for people on Mac, it is pretty um, hefty. You have to put command, type fn, shift, and then f11, and that is your um, that is your shortcut for running. I'm pretty sure it's a little bit easier on Windows, but if you have a Mac or a MacBook, um, you get used to doing that command and it becomes pretty second nature. So you can do that or you can click this run button up here. But for, from here on out, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. So you have this, it says save and launch, hit OK. And you see it runs this program and it says hello world, then hey on a new line. So that's what this print line thing means. It means at the end of, um, at the end of printing this line, we want to put a space so we can create a new line. There is another statement we can call which is um, called print, just print like this. So let's say we call it just print on hello world and then print line on hey. We're gonna run this and you're gonna see it says hello world and then hey on the same exact line. But let's say we want to put a space in this print statement. We still wanna put that, um, make, it go down, make it go down to the next line. The thing to do this is um, you have to do backslash n and this is a keyword that uh, Java recognizes and most programming languages will recognize that lets the computer know that you want to move down to the next line. So now if I run this again you're going to see that it's going to hello world hey. Hey is going to be on the next line and we only used a print statement. So let's say now we want to do hello world or actually I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make a new quotation here. Let's say I want to say Sally said hello, exclamation mark, she's, she's happy. So let's say we have this and now let's try to run this. It says, oh, there's an error exists, an error exists within your project. Fix that before you proceed. Um, basically, you see how this hello exclamation mark is white right here. The coloring of a um, programming environment is really helpful for letting you know if there's an issue that's going on. You can also see this little X right here. This lets you know that there is an issue and as well as this um, this red underline. So the issue here is that we're using quotation marks which is a signifier to this programming environment that we want to create a sentence or in programming we call it a string. So how can we get the quotation marks within this statement um, without confusing the computer essentially. So to do this you want to use the escape character. It is that backslash. The backslash is always is an escape character for um, for the getting these quotation marks in here and getting also other um, other types of things within your strings. So now if I run this it's not actually going to show that backslash but you'll see that it actually puts in those quotation marks. So that's the way you can put quotation marks within quotation marks. Um, you can also do if you want you can just do single quotes and that works just fine. Um, it's not, but if you do end up wanting double quotes, you need to do that backslash escape character. So another thing that we can do is let's say we want to add two sentences together. Um, let's say Sally said hello. And in a normal programming context, you probably wouldn't need to do this just because you could just type it all in one sentence. But just to show you guys, you can do hello. Um, we're gonna make, actually let's say, we're gonna put a new line after this. We're gonna say plus. Ooh, what's up dog? Save it, run it. You see that what's up dog is added there. You can use these plus signs just like in math to add sentences together. And um, something that you should get start getting used to is calling sentences strings within programming because that is, um, that is what they're called. So um, that is going to be it for the system.out.print statements. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to actually cover something called variables, which is going to make programming a lot more interesting. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.